Hello everyone, this is Troy Kostasek for Exploraminate, bringing you a Let's Try video for Children of the Galaxy. This game recently just entered Steam's Early Access, and I'm going to try it out here for you, so you can check it out and see if it's something you might like. Um, first, we have a menu here at the top, and uh, I could continue an older game that I have. I could play the tutorials, start a new game, load a game play a hot seat, although I don't think that's quite enabled yet. I could be wrong, but I don't think that's ready. Uh, the game does support modding already, and of course we can look at the credits for the developer. Over here we have settings, and I just want to show those real quick. You can adjust mouse settings, zoom seat speed, which I think I will slow it down just a little bit, uh, keyboard speed, tactical view distance, I might move that down a little bit, Auto save. Uh, you can enable Steam Cloud, edge of screen scrolling, and auto select unit without order. And then, like, you can enable or disable all of these reports. These will show up as little exclamation points while you're playing. And there's a lot of them here. So, you know, when you're first playing, you probably want to have all these enabled. And then, after you've learned the game a little bit, you can probably start disabling some of these so it doesn't distract you so much. Uh, it does offer a range of uh, video resolutions, all the way to 1080p, which is what I have it set on. Um, three different display modes, vertical sync, anti-aliasing, UI size, all that. Audio, I have it turned way down as I always do so that way you can hear me over the music and for now that's about it so let's look at starting a new game there are five factions well four factions and five choices here at the start there will be more eventually but you have the humans the Kega, Menron, Atta and then of course you can randomize it but each, you can't see it very well, but each has their own very unique looking ships and uh, unique um, advantages, disadvantages, that sort of thing. Um, you can add AI players, you can choose for them to be random, or you can set them however you want. Um, we'll probably just start this as the human here. You can choose your color, whatever suits you. Um, let's see. Alright, a few other things. Uh, galaxy size. You get four choices here, and I believe more are on the way. We'll just stick with the default. Game speed. Um, you know, how fast you develop your text and things like that. We're going to speed it up just a little bit. Alright. Oh yeah, and you can flip through all the different uh, ships that you can have, so they give, a, give you a preview. This game does not have, like, a custom ship builder, like many other Space 4X games do. So, the the ships are all decided at the beginning. So, this way you can get a good look at them, and you know what you're going to get. Alright, well, let's go ahead and start. Takes a little bit to load, so we'll just let it do that. <clears throat> and, let's see, I've got about two hours in this game at the time I'm recording this. So I've learned a little bit about it. It's, 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 for an early access game, it's in pretty good shape as far as like bugs and that sort of thing goes. There, there's not a lot of real problems here. So we have a UI up here in the left-hand corner that's very reminiscent of Endless Legend, which is a great UI. Uh, this first button is just a galaxy, which is what we're seeing right here. And then we go here to Government. And, you know, you get a lot of information and options here. This is kind of like your colony uh, management window here. And we can show either the planets we have colonized or the ones that we have scanned. Now, one thing I don't like about the UI here, and this is very early in early access, like it's only been out for a couple weeks, is you got to click return to map here. And so that brings us back to where we were. And so every time I go to a window, I got to go back here and then to this. I can't just flip through them. Hopefully they'll change that. 
That's a really important quality of life issue for me. But anyway, military units right now, we just have one scout. It's got 10 out of 1,001 XP before it can level up. Return to map. Um, let's see. Oh, here's our research. Now, down here at the bottom, if you look in the lower right, you can see it's wanting me to select the research. So here we are. And this game has a tech web, kind of like, oh, I don't know, maybe like Civ Beyond Earth or some of the other games you've seen. If you, you have to choose the first, but after that, if you don't, I think the game chooses it for you. So the game has an algorithm it follows, and it'll just kind of go in an, a spiral, which is fine. It's not great. Um, I think one of the first things we're going to want, one thing I recommend is astronomy, because that gives you your colony ship. And you, like any other Forex game, you're going to want to colonize quickly. So I recommend choosing either economics here or colony to begin with. Let's see, I, I usually, it, you can't line up techs in this game. you got to choose one at a time. So hopefully down here, they got a lot of blank space. So it'd be great if you could like line up a tech queue and kind of get through them. Uh, so I either like economics or astronomy, or physics, or that sort of thing. Now, it does have the way... I, I wasn't exactly accurate on that. Like, you can slow down your research here, and increase it here, so you can research multiple texts at the same time, but the problem is you can see like how many turns it's going to take. Maybe later on in the game that's useful, but here at the beginning... Like, you're going to want, want to just go full on for whatever tech. So, it is cool that you can research multiple techs at once, and it will automatically adjust that for you. But in the early game, you, you want your techs. You want your techs right away. So, we're going to start with astronomy for now. Whoops, I need to pick that back. All right, there we go. All right, and then don't get confused by, by this. Don't click next turn down here. Go Go back to the map. All right, here's our diplomacy screen. Not much going on there right now because we haven't met anybody. Uh, okay, this is um, kind of like your progress bar. Like this will show a map or more like a line chart of how you're doing versus the other races. Let's see, missions, which are like quests that you get, and you'll get them fairly quickly. And then, oh, here's the... Uh, the options menu so you can resume the game load another game save back to the main menu that sort of thing so back to this all right so now we have um we have our our system and let me do that again real quick for you okay here is the galaxy map each system in the galaxy has its own hex map all right this is the solar system where we live. We start on Earth because we're humans. Okay. Here's um, Venus. There's Mars. Over here's Mercury. And then here's the asteroid belt. I don't think I've seen Jupiter or Saturn or anything like that. So, you know, we're, we're starting in our home system. When you click on your uh, planet, it pulls up this UI that you're looking at right now. Up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, they are here somewhere. Okay. So we can click on them there. We All the other planets. Neptune's the last one, so Pluto doesn't make it in the Children of Galaxy. Uh, so anyway, we're here on this, and we need to make missions go away. Here's what we can build. Okay, we got Scout, Recycling Center, Automation Center... Uh, sterling generator and a telescope so telescope gets us research uh, automation gets us production I usually like starting with production some people prefer research so I'm gonna do production now that went down here into our build queue right there okay so now let's add in Let's add in this, the telescope. So you can see the build queue right here. we got two things in the build queue right now. This is everything. That's just ships right here. Show only units. Okay. And then here 
is constructions or buildings. Okay, so not too unusual. Um, over here, down in the lower left, we have our um, different currencies, I guess. We have population, resources, which you can see are used by population. More resources, resources means faster growth. So it's kind of like food, but more than just food. Energy, uh, production, you know, that's how many production points we have per turn to spend. So, like, it's going to take... 15 production to make the automation center so we're making three per turn and it takes us five turns and then the number or the amount of research we're getting from this planet and then rare resources so we got let's see can I get it to pull up here no looks like carbon silicone titanium and uranium from this one planet uh, our current level of intelligence is 6, and this is our diplomatic cur currency. Uh, more population means more intelligence. It's an interesting way of looking at it. And growth is based on the type of planet. So, you know, Earth is uh, a, a terra planet. So it's, a ro it's also a rocky type of planet, which matters in this game as far as your techs go. Um, we have 10 slots, so we can build 10 things on it at the moment. And as far as our racial preference goes, it's a hundred percent match. So that's great for us. Uh, here's all our units, and like we can choose one and get a little uh, pop up there of its warp speed, how quickly it recharges its warp, um, how fast it can move with engines, sensor range, weapons, hull hit points, which is hull damage, shields, which is. 0.5 which is terrible and then oops shield research rate or recharge rate excuse me uh, also you get its rank which is like its level and total energy it has 10 so all right that's cool um here up here in this window we have like let's say we colonized all these planets all right it would show each planet on down this uh, Q right here and we could click on each individual planet and pull up the information on that planet there or we can Sort it by population or how much energy it's producing or production, you know, if we want to build a spaceship on Mars because it's got the highest production We might just sort this by production so that way Mars is at the top and we click on it and We can go over here and choose our spaceship and all that and Then same thing with the, the scout here or we can type in our own filter and it'll filter by whatever we type in which is kind of nice kind of unique I like that um let's see what else here up here is just like a quick reference you know the amount of energy we have amount of research um, our intelligence and then oh here this is how we can learn about our luxury resources here we got 60 carbon 40 silicon, let's see if I was right, yep, 20 titanium, and 2 uranium. So, uh, those get used for building buildings and ships later on. Alright, back to the galaxy map real quick. Alright, now each one of these is like another system, okay, and they can be explored. So, let me show you how to do that real quick, and then I think I'll close up this video. So, we have our scout here. And what we can do is we can leave orbit, and that puts him kind of sitting on top of our planet, which, you know, they haven't quite got that right as far as the way it looks. But, yeah, you know, that that's fine. And um, down here we get our little UI. Ooh zoom out a little bit we get our UI for the scout and this first button tell is the attack command then move command so like we could tell it to move over to this hex for instance or go explore this planet or whatever and then warp jump which leaves the system mini warp jump which like lets you move within the system uh, very quickly so it gives you a lot of movement range. 
Oops. I don't want to destroy the unit right now. Uh, I'm going to cancel that order. Uh, let's see. Uh, enter orbit. So, like you saw how this uh, ship was orbiting Earth, and then I told it to leave orbit so I could control it. But now I can send it back into orbit. I can scan. Uh, I can tell it to do nothing this turn. I can tell it just to sleep or sentry. And I can tell it to auto-explore, which is what I'm going to do. Or I could destroy it, like I showed you just a minute ago. So I'm actually going to first tell it to warp. And that puts it automatically here on the galaxy map. And then I'm going to tell it to auto-explore. And that's what I recommend doing uh, when you first start, is telling the ship auto explore and that'll help you learn about all this around here you don't really need to explore your system all that much although I will build a second scout here in just a minute so I can do that let's go back and let's add another scout to our production queue alright there see scout alright that is the first turn for Children of the Galaxy, you saw how fast that resolved. Like, this game is really, really fast. You see how our scout ship's already there? This game processes turns very quickly, uh, especially for a game in early access. So it's it's quite, quite impressive. And so uh, we get info reports. Here, our ship just entered this, so let's look at our reports real quick before I close this up. New mission, scan planets was assigned, so I get to, if I scan three planets and get more information about them, let's see, use mini warp jump to move closer to a planet. So, if I go down here into this system, I gotta find my ship. Let's see, where is it? Um, there it is. All right. So, all right, where's the mini warp jump? Attack, move. Oh, I might not be able to do it this turn. Ah, I got to let it rest for a turn before I can give it that mission. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, mission to explore new system was completed. Rewards, we got one energy credit. And then system Marana has been found. So, all three of those reports up here. About this it looks like there's a couple planets and a star in here so anyway that is children of the galaxy i'll be back with another episode where i've been playing the game for a little bit longer and show you a few more things about it this has been troy kostasik for explorminate thank you very much for watching take care everyone